guys and we're back today for another cooking recipe today we're making lean steak mince burgers what you want is five percent lean steak and then your seasonings being burger seasoning black pepper and some form of salt for me i've used chili salt in these burgers and what you do is um, as much seasoning as you really want and then mix it all together in the bowl as well We are mixing it, make sure that you do sort of get a ball shape um, so then you can just break away parts of the mint into a burger press or you can actually use a protein um, bottle lid to make your burger shape as well. Okay, so what I'm doing here, I'm weighing out 100 grams of burger patty, uh, patty uh, just for the first set of burgers. I see they're quite thin. It really depends on how you like it. If you want to have multiple patties or you just want one um, big one or one small one all in all. Okay, now those burger patties are done. We've got four of the normal ones. We're now going to make um, two of the chili powdered burger patties. These are more my favourites um, as I do like to have chili in quite a lot of my foods. I always find the burgers a great and humble meal really to make at home. You can make them a, a, lo a lot lower calories or you can make a few more to them depending on how you obviously what you are training for and what your goals are. I see again same process just make yourself a ball as you're mixing. Now for these to make them bigger what I have done is weighed out 150 grams of burger patty mints. I see they're quite a lot thicker. They, they sort of look like your quarter pounder instead of your single small burger. So your oven should be preheated at about 200 degrees. And then what you can do now is I put them in the oven. And now it's time to get the the um, salad sorted. Sorted. So what I do is I've broken off a bit of salad leaves there, and I'm gonna put some for the burger patty. So I'm not going to cut them up, and then I'm chopping some up now to put as the side salad. Next, what we're gonna do is get some cucumber as well on the salad. Okay, and then finally what I've got there, just getting some pickles out of the jar to put in the burger because you can't have a burger without no pickles. And then we've got our 30% reduced fat cheese. Um, just to save extra in the calories, this cheese is absolutely amazing though. And I'm just going to cut some of that off now. And it's great to add the cheese usually whilst the burgers are cooking or just so they come out of the oven and they're absolutely boiling hot. Next, what we're going to be doing is making some um, potato wedges. These are optional, obviously. This is our main meal of the day. And um, we thought, well, let's, why not have some wedges? With the wedges, we add the season called all seasoning. Uh, it's a mixture of different herbs and sort of pepper and salt. It's absolutely amazing. And what we're going to do is put out whilst we're weighing the potatoes into a jar. And then we're going to put a plate on top, put them in, in the microwave for about five minutes and once they're out of the microwave that's when we're going to cook them I see there you've got to give it a good shake and we're gonna put it in the microwave and it's now out it's boiling hot chuck it in the air fryer no oil needed it's just the air fryer put that on for about 10 minutes on 200 degrees whilst that's on and the burgers are cooking it's time now to get the optional bread 
roll bun um, cut up and ready. Again, if you didn't want to use a bread roll bun, what you can do to save calories again is you can get a lettuce leaf on the bottom, a le lettuce leaf on top, and use the lettuce leaves really as your bun. I say the day of filming this, my calories were low, and I and I all purely to the fact that I wanted to have this meal in the evening. I see. I'm just weighing out the lettuce for my um, my burger here. I will do it in the comments down below. I will do give a breakdown of what ingredients were used. And the um, the weight of them to come to the ca overall calorie of the meal. I say it will vary because of obviously the bread roll buns and all the other ingredients, but it will give you like a rough idea. So here we're now assembling the burger. We've got lettuce, burger, cheese, burger, cheese, lettuce, and in the middle we're going to put some pickles in a second. Obviously I forgot whilst filming. Um, they say you can't have a burger without pickles. There we go. Now next is to weigh out the side salad. I see that looks absolutely delightful, absolutely lush burger there. Without the salad, without the wedges, it's absolutely amazing. But these extras just help you be fuller for longer, like say main meal of the day. See, look how amazing that looks. Fresh, better than McDonald's personally. Better than Burger King, you can't beat home cooked food. I see there guys, there's a breakdown of the calories if you wanted to know what they were. And I say please do not forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more content. Leave a comment down below on what sort of recipes you'd like to see or content. And don't forget to share, I'll catch you next time.